Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Charles Tulip and today we are playing Planet Coaster. So I've actually been playing this game a lot over the weekend and I built a park in the challenge mode that I'm pretty happy with. So I've learned a bit more about the game and I thought today we'd jump back into career mode and work on this park here called the Great Tree. So let's get into it. So if we look at our objectives here, we need to reach a monthly profit of $3,000. So I'm definitely thinking we're gonna need a roller coaster in order to achieve that. And um, if we look ahead to the Silver Star, we need to achieve a scenery rating of 130 and we need to build a roller coaster with these requirements. It has to have five excitement, um, five nausea, and a length of 500 meters. So I actually want to take a look at our budget first. Um, it looks like we made a profit last month, but um, we're not making a profit yet this month. And part of that is that our shops and facilities are not turning a profit. Um, so we only earned $21 in those last month. I think I actually placed them down last month. So that's probably why. Let's, uh, let's remind ourselves what we have here. So we have a gulpy energy, a chief beef, hot dogs, and what's over here? Cosmic cow milkshakes. And it looks like there's actually two of those. So I might just close one of those milkshake stands. We probably don't need two. And I think I'm also going to close this hot dog shop. Okay, and let's um, take a look at our vendors here. So we could probably fire the vendors for the... Um, the shops that we just closed. Okay. And we can reopen those once we get a few more people in the park. Um, okay, so that's what I wanted to do first. I wish there were more, were more rides. I wish this park had a toilet. I wish there was somewhere to sit down. Okay, well, let's... um. Yeah, let's take care of a couple of those things. So we could put in a toilet, we could put in some benches, and we could definitely put in some trash cans. I wish this park had a drink shop, okay. Um, yeah, so let's get some benches first. Okay, so if I remember, those are in scenery. And um, they are in the path extras. Okay, so we have the fairy tale picnic bench, um, one and two, picnic tables, and a village heart bench. That's pretty cute. And a village heart bin. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go with this fairy tale picnic bench. And we'll just get a few of those. Okay, multiple thefts reported in the park security has been notified. Um, I want to put a couple more benches over here. And then probably a few right here. Okay, I think that's pretty good for benches. We could get some benches over here as well. And I think we could actually open up this space here and um, put some kind of a little picnic area.
Okay. Um, I'm just trying to fill in the path in this area. Okay, that's all right. And then let's get um, the fairy tale picnic table and put a couple of these down. Okay, that's probably enough of those. And then I also want um, some trash cans. Oops. There was a little, there's a little part of the path here where it's sticking out, but I can't delete it. Okay. Or it deletes the whole thing. Um, well, let's just put a bench back there. That's fine. And we could put a couple more benches over here. Okay, and then we'll get some trash cans. So we definitely need trash cans in this area. Um, and some over here. Oh, there's another spot where the path is sticking out here. Okay, let me get rid of that one at least. And I just realized that I actually have this set with the railing on ground path. I don't think I want that. So I'm going to replace these pieces here. Okay. Um, let's go back to placing trash cans. So we'll get a trash can by the entrance and exit, I think, of these rides. And a couple over here. And we'll get some right there. And maybe one over here as well. Okay. So did that help our scenery rating at all? I think it did. We're up to 125 now for the scenery rating. Okay, so that's pretty cool to know that um, just placing benches around actually helps with the scenery. And let's take a look at our finances once more. Okay, so good. Our shops are making a profit now. That's that's really good. Um, and overall we are making a little bit of profit. We need to get up to $3,000. So next I'm wondering if I can take out a loan. It looks like I can. Um, I might need to do that in order to build a few more rides here. Um... And then the other thing I want to see, okay, I can't change the opening and closing times, um, but we could set the lighting here to a certain time of day. Uh, just so that it's bright while we're working on it. Okay. Um, okay, so let's take a look at what rides we have available. So we have the Forge, we have the Hammer Swing, Hyper Spin, um, Teacups. Teacups would be a good one to put in, and that is only $900 for that ride. So I would kind of want to put the teacups over here, I think. Okay, so we just got our um, end of month summary. We made, let's see, we made $240 uh, last month. Okay, our park management cost went way up. Um, 
that is because we're paying more staff. So actually, I want to look at the overview. We have one janitor, one mechanic, one security guard, and three vendors. Okay, so I think that's the absolute minimum that we could have. So I'm going to take out a small loan to build the teacups. Um, okay, it looks like we can only choose the $10,000 loan, but it has 2% interest. So that's not bad. Okay, well, let's get it. And since we have $10,000 now, maybe we should actually build a roller coaster. So let's see um, what we can afford. Okay, so there's this one called the Rebel, the Steel Vengeance, we can't afford that, and one called the High Seas. Um, I wanna take a look at this one. Okay, so this one I think would fit in this area pretty well. And then let's also look at this one. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit harder to fit in there. So let's let's actually go with this one here. Um, Okay, I think we have to raise it up just a little bit. There we go. And I think right about there is good. Okay. Actually, I wanna move that. I wanna rotate it a little bit. I want it to be a little bit closer to this path here. Okay. Okay, and the trees are actually not really cutting into it, so that looks fine there. Okay, so let's place the entrance down. Um, I think we'll get that right there and the exit. Okay, and then I actually want to build the exit path first. Um, let's see, this is the black path. So let's get the same thing here. Okay, it's cutting into the terrain there, so we're going to have to um, bring it up a little bit and then okay good okay and then let's work on the queue path and I just want to check um, okay it looks like we also use the black queue path maybe we could use this one that has the green arrows on it okay and I'm probably going to replace the one over here as well. Oh, the terrain is too uneven. Okay, so I guess not. Okay, but let's get um, this one in. So I think we'll bring it down to he uh, here. Um, and then we can sort of build a little loop okay and then let's um, bring it down again okay it's running into the other path um, I actually I'm gonna turn the curved slopes on so this is something else that I found out um, uh, from watching YouTube videos on this game, actually, is that you can curve the slopes. I did not know that the first time I was playing. Um, you just have to choose in the option menu over here. Okay, I think that queue is long enough. I'm going to delete this piece here and just curve it around a little bit more. Okay. 
and yeah, I like I like how that looks with the green arrows on the uh, top here too. Okay, so let's check the operations. Um, it looks like we have two trains with five cars. Okay. And we can customize the colors. So I want the cars to be um, green, I think. Okay, it looks like we can't change the color of the handlebars inside the cars there. Um, okay. I think the... I'm happy with the other colors on here. So let's let's open this ride. Oh, we have to test it first. Okay. Many guests need the toilet. Oh yeah, that's what else I was gonna do. Um Okay, so I'm actually getting notifications that too many guests are trying to use the shops. Um so maybe it is worth it to open up these other two shops that we closed. So let's open the hot dog shop and we'll open this other milkshake shop. Okay, and then we are gonna need, um, then we are gonna need two vendors. Okay, so we'll assign him to the milkshakes and this lady um will go in the hot dogs okay okay good um okay is this one done testing yes it is so we can open that ride Okay, so we still have $3,000 left from our loan. Um, let's actually check the price on this roller coaster. It is $9. Um, the Cycle Law is $6, and the Magic Twirl is $6.50. So I'm going to bump this one up to uh, $7.50. That one I think is fine at six, and this uh, price will be ten over here. Okay, so let's let's actually find a toilet. Okay. <laughs> uh, so shops and facilities, and we'll go to restrooms. Okay, there is no objects researched. Um, We do have the standard restroom block. We just don't have any blueprints for it. So let's look at the research. Um, can we research the restrooms? It looks like we have uh, Looney Balloons and the ATM. Okay. Well, let's just use this uh oh okay i did click on the right tab here let's just get this standard restroom block i guess and we'll put it at the end of this path okay and let's actually go into the color editor and um, I'm just going to test out a few colors here and see what I like. Okay, I think light green for that. Um, I'm kind of happy with this dark blue, but maybe we could make it a dark teal instead. And then I think we'll go green also for these tiles. Or um, possibly teal there as well. 
Um, okay, I'm not liking how any of these colors look, actually. Okay, we'll just go with green. Okay. And, um, we have this castle. That's kind of interesting. So, I wonder if we could fit the restrooms in here. Um, so if we edit this... I'm going to delete this door, and it looks like this archway is all one big segment there. Oh, hold on. Okay. So maybe it would actually be... Um, okay, so if we take that away... There's not much left. <laughs> okay. So I'm actually going to uh, bring that door back too. And I think instead I'll delete this door and we can delete this wall piece. And then maybe we could copy this arch. Okay. And uh, we're going to rotate that. It doesn't look like it's exactly lining up how I want it to. Hmm. Let's look at the building pieces that we have. So I'm going to go to walls. Um, and arches, I guess. Okay, so what? Castle rounded arch tunnel? Castle pointed arch tunnel. Castle pointed arch. Okay. So can we... Um, I'm going to try to move this over just a little bit. So it's more like that. Okay, and then I actually want to put this restroom inside here. So, okay, I thought this would give me an option to add it to the building here. Maybe if we copy this instead? Okay, I'm okay, I'm going to try this way. Okay, there we go. It gave me the option that time. Okay, so we need to rotate this, and I think, okay, it's still a little, a little too high. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing and just move this like that. Okay. So let's actually... Well, I'll leave that restroom there for now. I want to grab this whole thing. And... Um, I guess I'll save it as a blueprint. So we'll just call this... Castle Restroom. Oh, a description is required. Okay. A castle with a restroom. Um. Okay. So, yeah, I am going to delete this one. 
and I guess grab this whole thing and move it. Um, maybe we could put it over here. No, I think I'm definitely going to put it over here. Okay, and let's um let's just move this tree a little bit. Okay, and actually I'm going to move this tree as well. Okay, should we have a restroom anywhere else? We should probably have one over here, I think. Um, let's look at the finances again. Okay, so our shops made a profit last month. Okay, it looks like, um, it looks like overall we didn't make a profit because we paid almost $900 on our loans. On our one loan, I guess. Um, because our profit was actually negative $79 last month. We are making a profit this month, which is good. But we haven't finished the loan payment yet. So I'm definitely thinking we're going to need another roller coaster. Okay, they're saying that um, this ride, the high seas, is a really good value. So let's raise the price again. Um, I think we'll go up to eleven fifty this time. And let's check the other rides. Okay, this one is a really good value, so we can make this six fifty. And this one, um, they're not saying that about this one. Okay, it, there's way less people in line over here. This line was completely full before. I wonder if that's because I raised the price too much. Um, let's try bringing that back down to $7. Okay, and I do want to put the teacups in. I was thinking of putting them right here, but it looks like it's a little too big to go there. Um, so we could put them over here. Well, before we do that, let's... Let's get another bathroom. So um, I think my blueprint is going to be in buildings. Okay. Okay, and I'm just going to put that right there. And then I kind of do want to build a path going through the castle arch. So let's move a couple of these trees out of the way. And we'll build something like this. Okay. And I just want to move this tree back. Okay. So that, um, this teacups ride is so big. Okay. We're going to have to find somewhere to put this. I guess it could go over here. Um, we just have to raise it up a little bit. And 
Okay, let's look at the terrain here. It's kind of bumpy. Let's actually move this out a little bit. Okay. And I think I'll build a path coming off this way. Oh, okay, the roller coaster is too low right there. Okay, so we'll build it off here then. And it will just kind of go around the roller coaster. Um, that way we can put our entrance and exit for the teacups over here. So we'll get the entrance right there and the exit right there. And then let's build our queue line. Okay, I'm going to turn the curve slopes off again. Um, okay, I think we could bring it down right here. Okay. Um, hmm, I want this to turn right at this point, but it's not letting me do that. So I guess we'll bring it down like this. Actually, I want to change this a little bit. Um, and just make it a little more curvy. Actually, I didn't mind that part. Okay. Okay. And, um, for the texture under the ride itself, I'm going to put down this flagstone path. Okay, so let's open the teacups. And I think we can raise the price here to $5.50. Let's see how that works. Okay, and let's um, go back to park management. So I want to look at the guest thoughts. The queue for the high seas was full. That litter is disgusting. Um, okay, the high seas is a really good value. Okay, so we just raised the price on that. So I think we'll have to wait until um, for the guest thoughts to kind of catch up with that. The park entry is free. I didn't realize that. Okay, so we can charge um, a price for entrance. So let's go with $4 um, for adults and $2 for children to start with. Okay, and... Um, Okay, and I'm thirsty. That's the other thought that people are having. Let's look at the notifications. Okay. Average guest happiness is declining. So I guess it wouldn't hurt to have some more drink shops. Okay, that's uh, that's great. We so we just got the end of month summary again, and we made almost two thousand dollars last month. Okay, so I think we're I think we're getting close to earning the bronze star here. Uh, 
Um, so let's actually see about placing some more drink shops. Oh, okay. I, I didn't realize this is actually the sandstone path, not the flagstone path. So I'd rather have that. And I kind of want that on that ride too. And yeah, well, I do like the cobblestone over here. I don't know. I kind of like the cobblestone actually. Okay, I'm just going to move this tree out of the way. And I'm going to build a path that goes through the castle here. And maybe it could even go underneath this path. Okay. I think I placed a lot of trees down here um, when I first opened this park and I didn't really think about what was going to go here. That's okay. Okay, so let's look at the drink shops. Um, we have this fairy tale village drink stall and fairy tale village shop. Okay, so I think we'll get one of these over here. Okay. And um, this is the Gulby Energy Shop. Okay, so we just um, got a scenery rating of 130. So that's actually the medium objective. We still need to build a roller coaster with at least five excitement um, and 500 meters long. So I think we should definitely get another roller coaster in here because that will bo um, boost profits a lot. And look, this queue is filling up again. So that's good to see. Okay, um, so we have 3,500 right now. Let's see how we're doing on our loan. Okay, we barely paid off the loan here and we can't take out a new one until this one's paid off. So maybe we can't afford another roller coaster, but we could definitely afford a few more rides. And actually I want to place some more trees down. Okay, so we'll get some trees here. So one thing that I learned um, playing in the challenge park is that the, the scenery around the queue is actually very important. Um, so if we look at this right here, it has a queue scenery rating of 58%. And there's only two trees there, so... <laughs> That one is at 17, that one's only at five, and that has no decorations on it. And that one's at 49%. So I wonder if they can actually see this big tree from these cues, and maybe that's also boosting the scenery rating. Okay. Um, but we could definitely put some more trees down here and that will boost the overall decoration rating as well. Okay, and let's um, get some of this oak tree too. So I'm actually going to replace that tree there with an oak tree. Yeah, I like that.
and I'll just put one right there. Okay, and then let's get some of this blue fir tree. And I'm just dotting these in between the other trees. I think that looks nice. Okay, and let's get some along this path. Okay, I think that's enough of those. And then I'm just looking at the vegetation that's already here in the forest. So I definitely want some of this, uh, these bushes as well. And there doesn't seem to be random rotation in this game. Um, so I kind of just hit the Z button every time I place something. That's what I've been doing anyways. And it makes it look a bit more random. It is kind of weird that you can't actually get from this path to this path here. I, I think those should definitely be connected. Because right now people have to walk from this drink shop all the way around here under the tree and then come back uh, just to go visit the restroom. So I think the easiest way to do that is just connect up that path there. Okay, and then um, let's keep placing bushes. Okay. Um, so I did, I did all of this. Okay. I just need to get a few more bushes over here. And we'll put some behind the teacups as well. Um, so our scenery rating is actually 140 now. Uh, 
so going back to the finances, we're on track to make a similar profit as last month. Um, we still have about $3,000 on hand. So I do want to place down a couple more rides. Maybe this hyperspin. Um, or the forge. Okay, that one's a little big. Or let's see about this one, actually. So I think if we face it this way, that looks pretty cool. Um, but we're going to build the path on the back side here. Okay, so let's place the entrance over here. And we'll place the exit like that. Perfect. Okay, and we'll get our queue in. Okay, so we did make uh, $1,900 again. Okay, I think I want this something like that. Okay, yeah, maybe like that. Okay, so let's open this one. Okay, average guest happiness is declining again. Um, there are lots of overflowing bins in the park. Make sure janitors empty them regularly. Okay, so maybe we need another janitor. Let's hire one. Okay, and let's actually check the price over here. So that's $9. Um, let's just put that at $9.50. I think instead of this sandstone, I want the uh, darker color on that ride. Okay, and let's place down a few more benches and trash cans. Um, so we'll get some over here. And then I think a couple right here. Okay, and then the trash cans. Um, yeah, let's put two right there. And two right there as well. Okay, and then let's put some trash cans in this area. Okay, there's actually two trash cans right there, so um, I'm just going to move those up here, up this way a little bit. And then I want some benches over here as well. Um, maybe a bench right there and right there. Actually, I'm not sure about that one. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see what the guests are thinking about this one. Okay. And... Um, what else 
were we going to do? Oh, yeah. I want to see why guest happiness is declining. Um, maybe it's because of the litter. 17% are actually saying that litter is disgusting. Okay, there's... Uh, this park is a bargain. Entry is cheap, and now the high seas is cheap, too. So that means we can raise the entry price and we can also raise the price on this roller coaster so let's go up to 1250 for that and um i wonder if we could fit one more ride in here Okay, so um, that one's going to be a little big. Yeah, probably all of these are going to be too big, actually. So let's make sure... Okay, all of, it looks like all of our... Oh, okay. So actually, some of our shops are not making a profit. So, hmm... There was too many people using the shops that I had open, which is why I closed them. Okay, multiple thefts reported in the park. There's a lot of overflowing bins. Too many guests are trying to use chief beef. Too many guests are trying to use the hot dog shop. Um, okay, so that's interesting because... It looks like only two of our shops are actually making a profit, but this one here is losing, lost $400 last month, but um, it says that too many guests are trying to use it. Okay, so maybe, maybe what we actually need is a staff room. Um, I don't think I put that in here yet. So if we look at the finances for the hot dog shop, um, the vendor salary is $150. Okay, let's, let's look at that actually. So Okay, all the vendors here are earning $150. That seems like a lot. I don't think I don't think I was spending that much in my challenge park on the vendors. I think their base salary was about 80. Okay, so this one is saying I get paid what I'm worth. Um, huh. They're all saying they get paid what they're worth. I'm going to try decreasing this just to 120 for each of them and see if they start complaining. Um, our janitors are earning 120. Yes, so let's bring that down as well. I'm going to put them at 100. The mechanic is earning 290. Wow, that's odd. I wonder why it's so much. Um, we'll put that down to 240. And then the security guard is earning 150 also, so... Let's try 120 for him.
Okay, we've actually almost made $3,000 this month. Okay. Um, and we, our shops and facilities earned $800 so far this month, which is a lot more than expected. Um, I am going to put in that staff room. And I actually want to connect the paths here. Um, just so people can get from one area to the other. And let's look at shops and facilities. And we're looking for staff room. Okay, so we only have this Caribbean staff room. I'm going to I'm going to put that kind of under the bridge here. Um yeah, actually I think right there. Oh, interesting. Energy features are disabled in this park. Staff will not use this building. Okay, so I guess we don't need that. Um, yeah, I'm kind of just waiting for the month to turn over to, um, so we can see our new statement. There's a lot of overflowing bins in the park. Okay, I'm going to hire one more janitor. And let's make sure his pay is $100. Um, right. Okay, let's just fast forward this to the end of the month. Okay, we're actually at 4,000 in profit right now. So we're going to get the bronze star. And there we go. Okay. Most popular attraction in the high seas, 1,000 guests in the park. We have 6,000 in cash. Okay, so now we need to build a roller coaster with five excitement, uh, at most five nausea, and a length of 500 meters. Um, okay. So I think the best thing to do is to go with this other blueprint that we have. This has, okay, so this has excitement 5.4 and nausea 0.5. So this will fit the requirements, I think. And I, this roller coaster is a lot longer than the other one. So let's see, this costs $7,000. So we can just about afford this. Let's put it back here. I think. Oh, okay. I raised up a lot. Um, I think I think this tree here is in the way. Okay. Yeah. So we can put it right there. I'm um, just seeing if we can get this any closer. I'm actually going to delete that tree as well. Okay. Okay, so we'll raise this up a couple levels. And there. That, that's exactly where I want it, I think. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, let's start testing this. And I'm gonna 
delete a little bit of this path. And um, I think I'll bring this around like that. Um, okay. We'll move this tree. And then we need an entrance. So let's put that right there and the exit. Okay, our janitor is unhappy. Um, it's time for me to find a new job and my workload is heavy. So, okay, they're not complaining about their salary. I think we just need another janitor because two of them have a high workload. So let's hire one more and um, we'll put the pay down to a hundred. Okay, if they keep complaining, we might have to raise their salary back up. Okay. So we can get the exit connected like that. And actually, whoa. <laughs> okay, it doesn't look that strange from this level, but from above, that staircase looks really weird. <laughs> Let's turn on the curved slopes again. Okay, that's a bit more even. And then we'll build the queue up here. And turn curved slopes off. Okay, perfect. Okay, look at that. So we got the silver star. Okay. Um, yeah, that looks great. And we can open this ride now. And the ticket price is $11 for this one. So let's put that at 13. Okay, and let's look at the objectives here. So we just achieved one of the hard objectives, which is to achieve a park rating of 750. And now we just need a scenery rating of 160, and we're already at 142. Okay, so we just need to um, decorate a little bit more. So let's look at the scenery that we have. Um, Okay, so let's, um, I think the right category here is going to be props. And then we can filter this by the scenery theme. So we'll put this for the fairy tale theme. Okay, there's dragons. That is pretty cool. I'm going to look at the blueprints first. Okay. So, okay, so there's actually a guy trying to tame a dragon here. I like that. Uh, Jester's jousting. Cute. Witch's treehouse. Let's put this somewhere. I think, um, hmm. I kind of want to put this right where this tree is.
So I guess this purple lady is a witch. Um, she kind of looks like Ursula to me, but... Okay, that's cool. Oh, whoa. Okay. <laughs> I keep getting stuck in that tree. Let's... Um, yeah, I kind of want another one of those over here. And then we have this little flower stall. That's very cute. Um, I like these vases as well. Okay, so we could put those right there, and uh, maybe we could put them over here as well. Okay, and maybe this goes on this, in this area. Okay. Look at that. The dragon is eating the hay here. Straw lump. Multiple thefts reported in the park. Um, okay. And then I want to put this scene... Well, I kind of want to put it right here, but it's a little bit big. So we could put it on this side. Okay, that looks nice. And then let's look at the custom pieces here. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We can just get one of these tents. Put that over here. And a small one. Okay. Um, we have this fairy tale fountain. So let's stick that in there. And let's put one over here. Okay, one of our vendors just quit. Um, okay, well, let's hire another vendor, I guess. And uh, let's just check. So we still ha we have four janitors. Okay, six vendors. Um, I guess our profit doesn't really matter anymore because that's no longer one of the objectives. We just need to decorate. Okay, so let's go back to scenery. And okay, I saw fairy tale tree archway. Oh, that's cute. Okay, we could definitely put that um we could put that at the entrance to the rides. We could get another one over here. Mr. Bunny Alls says, can I come chill here? Yeah, of course you can. How are you doing today? Okay, so we'll get that there. And maybe one more. Well, 
I don't know. Um, okay, I did see dragons in here. Yeah. It's three in the morning. I'm doing good. Wow, that's, uh, that's late. Is there a reason you're up so late or just cause? Okay, I want this dragon to go over here. Um, what other dragons do we have? Dragon eating. Dragon sleeping. So maybe we put the sleeping dragon over here, actually. Okay, and let's see how we're doing on the scenery rating. Okay, we're at 153 now. Um, there's this caravan. Maybe we could fit that in right there. And we could put another one over here. Uh, suspense nasty says hiya how it's how's it going um i'm doing good how are you i'm uh, hyperactive i have sleeping problems that i'm sorry to hear that that really sucks so hard getting gold stars in these scenarios best of luck well i think we're doing pretty good so far we just need uh six more scenery points for this one. Oh, thank you for the follow, Suspense Nasty. Yeah, so actually, I hope the uh, scenarios will get a little bit harder because the, the first three that I've done here were pretty easy, in my opinion. Uh, but maybe you feel differently. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to place some more trees to get the scenery rating over 160. It looks so difficult to me. Yeah, um I don't know. <laughs> this the, I think the hardest part of this scenario was getting a uh a monthly profit of $3,000, but even that was not that bad. Once it gets to medium level difficulty, it gets really hard. Okay, yeah, so I'll have to see about that. Because um, I just bought this game, actually. I, I've i only been playing this since last Thursday. So I have no idea what the other scenarios are like. Oh, awesome. I'm still learning, too. I got the game maybe a month or so ago. That's cool. And thank you for the follow, Mr. Bunny Alls. Yeah, what prompted you to buy the game? I want to see the progress. Okay, Um. let's get here, the oak tree. I was playing a lot of Roller Coaster Tycoon and needed a more robust coaster creator. Oh, that's cool. I yeah, I've played Roller Coaster Tycoon three. Um, I I played that a lot more when I was a kid. Actually, I haven't played it that much recently. Um, I'm kind of surprised how much I like this game actually. I because I'm used to building like in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, I'm used to building stuff on a grid right? You, building roller coasters on a grid. So I'm surprised how much I actually like this game and being able to go off grid and whatnot. The community of this game are really sweet and generous with their time and knowledge. 
Th well, that's good to know. Our, yeah. One of our janitors just quit. Okay, let's get a new janitor. A new janitor. If you need any help, there's tons of people who are willing. Okay, and where would I find those people maybe? Like on YouTube? I don't really know who to watch for this game. Okay, we are at 158 scenery, so I think we just need some more trees. Okay, and there we go, there's the gold star. Okay, so we have uh, 1,300 guests in the park, 5,400 in cash. We finished October 20th, year one. Good game. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, this park looks super cute, actually. It's like a little fairy tale in the forest. I like it a lot. Okay, I'm going to save the park here. Um, okay. And let's go back to the main menu, and we'll get started on the next scenario. I reached the rank of entrepreneur. Okay. Career set unlocked. Okay, so we actually just unlocked this, Dex R Science Shenanigans. That's interesting. Um, but I want to play this one, I think, the Pirate Cove. I didn't, I didn't do this one yet. So, former pirate turned entrepreneur Peg Leg Pete appears to be struggling somewhat. His lone adult park is incomplete and lacking in fun. If only he could remember where he buried his treasure. It was around here somewhere. Take the helm and turn things around before the ship capsizes. Let's play it. Okay, this is a cute park too. Um... Mr. Bunny Alls, did you mean to say good game as well? <laughs> okay, so looking at the objectives here, we need to reach a monthly profit of $1,000 and attract 600 guests. Okay, so let's check this one out. No, good luck for the next one. Oh, okay, sorry, I don't know that acronym. I've never seen that. Uh, thanks for saying good luck, though. Huh? That's cute. There's a little coming soon sign right here. Like, there's going to be a tra an attraction here soon. There's one over here, too. Okay. Um, so what do we have here? We have, it looks like some food and drink over here. Um, we have the ATM. Uh, restrooms. And more food and drink. Okay, are there actually any rides in this park? There is a roller coaster. Incomplete coaster. Oh, okay. So there's just the uh the station here. That's it. So I guess we could start by building this roller coaster. Let's do that. So 
Um, we'll edit the track here. Okay. Um, I guess we can't turn this because it has the chain lift on it. Well, um, okay, yeah, I do want that piece, and then let's start bringing it up, maybe. Okay, maybe a little bit taller than that. And we're getting kind of close to the edge of the park here. Okay, so then we'll switch to the standard track. And, um, yeah, I do want the roller coaster to be back in this area, so I'm going to turn this this way. And let's bring it down just a little bit. And then I guess we can also bank this. Um, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I want a piece like that. This is the looping coaster. I don't really know anything about roller coasters, so the names don't mean that much to me, but I don't know what a, a looping roller coaster is. Okay, and then I want the big drop to be right here. Um, that's a little steep. Okay, that's funny. It automatically curved it that way. Oh, hold on. I forgot to take the banking off after the turn. So, yeah, let's bank this back to zero degrees. And then I guess we can bang it the other way. The, the controls are a little bit difficult in this game. Um, especially the banking, for some reason. It's really hard to get this to turn the right way. Okay, how do I keep building it here? Um, There we go. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to redo these last couple pieces because, yeah, I want them to bank this way. Okay. Um, yeah, this is only the third roller coaster I've actually built, so I might struggle a little bit. Okay, I think we'll get this going straight. And then let's look at some of the options that we have in here. Okay, that's interesting. Um, 
That's pretty cool. I think we could do something like that. You like roller coasters or go to theme parks in real life? Yeah, I really do like roller coasters. Um, I just haven't been to that many theme parks because uh, the only one that's around me is is pretty small. Um, so yeah, the mostly I've been to theme parks in California, but I live in Arizona, so I definitely like them though. What about you? I'm going to go with this piece, I think. And maybe we make this a little bigger. Uh, not much there in Arizona, I guess. Lagoon in uh, Salt Lake City is closest to you. I've never actually heard of that one. I'm in Southern California, so I'm a wee spoiled. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I had no idea there was a theme park in Salt Lake City. I have never heard of that. I go to Knott's at least once a month. Once a month? Okay, <laughs> you are spoiled then. I, I've only been to Knott's Berry Farm one time, and I love it. I loved it, so... Um, I guess Lagoon is family owned, been around for over a hundred years. That is really cool. I had no idea. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn this a little bit more and even more, I think. Okay. That's the 90 degree turn. I wonder why it's, um, it automatically put the next piece going upwards. I wonder if that's just kind of a suggestion or what, because I was just going to build this flat. Their most famous, uh, Coasty is Cannibal 200 foot drop that is nearly 115 degrees. Very iconic roller coaster. Um, that is very cool. That sounds like a cool roller coaster to ride. Have you been to that park? You have. Okay. Yeah, I was just wondering, um, cause that sounds like an awesome roller coaster. It's really charming, surrounded by snow-capped mountains. Wow. Is that all year long or in the winter only? I guess if the mountains are tall enough, they would have snow all year. Winter and spring. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to see if I can go there one day. That sounds, that sounds really beautiful. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this piece next. Um, yeah. And then I kind of want to see what the autocomplete does. Okay, the autocomplete failed. Um, easy to get there, but because they have a monopoly on the area, they charge like Disneyland prices for an entry fee. Oh, yeah, I guess it, I guess they could probably do that, but um, Disneyland is pretty expensive. Okay, hold on. I have to go back into the track editor. I want to edit it from this side. There we go. Because um, I definitely want this piece to go straight out here. And I guess we should put some brakes on here. Friction brakes or trim brakes? Um, 
or a block section. Okay. I don't know why the block section is red. Oh, I think I don't have enough money for this. Okay, I'm gonna finish this roller coaster uh, when I have a bit more money, but I wanna test it right now and see how we're doing. So actually I'm gonna look at the heat map here and let's look at the fear heat map. Okay, so it went up to 3.9. That's pretty good. And it did not get around the loop there. Okay. What other sim games do you play? Um, well, I play... Clearly you have experience. <laughs> I I have played Parkitect. So that's probably what I have the most experience building roller coasters in. Um, that game is pretty cool. It's a lot like Roller Coaster Tycoon because it's on a grid and it, you just have the isometric view. Um, but I like that game a lot. I um, also, I have played Planet Zoo as well. Oh, sweet. Um, yeah, so I've, I've also played Planet Zoo, so I definitely know how the pathing works a little bit, at least, and the some of the uh, decoration aspects, but... I wouldn't say I'm that good of a decorator. <laughs> um, so it's in your wheelhouse. I I would say so. I I love like simulation and tycoon games. Um, I also play The Sims, of course. I play Sims Three and Four. I uh, played City Skylines. So yeah. Okay, I guess I need to edit this track and make this loop a little bit smaller. Okay, that should be good, I think. Let's try the test again. Um, did you play Jurassic World Evolution 2? No, I, I haven't played that one. Is that a good game? Oh, that's supposed to be great. Okay, good. The roller coaster got over the loop that time. And it went flying off the tracks. Okay. Okay, we're actually, we have negative money right now. So let's look at our finances. Um, yes, yeah, same simulation as here, but instead of coasters, you have dinosaurs. Yeah, so I know that game is made by the same company that makes um, this one. Also, you're in two times speed for game time. Oh, thank you. I didn't realize that. Um, yeah, maybe I should play that one because dinosaurs are pretty cool. I, I do remember playing Zoo Tycoon a lot. Um, I played the first Zoo Tycoon game when I was a kid. So I, um, I really liked <laughs> putting dinosaurs in my zoo in that game. So I think I'm going to charge an entry fee. So let's go with $4 and $2 again. So we can make some money from ticket sales. Um, 
our shops are making a profit, so that's good, but we're spending a lot on staff wages. So how many staff do we have? Two janitors, one mechanic, four vendors. Okay, we probably need those. Um, let's look at our shops here. Okay, so two of the shops are actually closed. So I wonder if we do need four vendors or if we could get away with just two. Yeah, so two have a low um, workload. So it, l oh. Okay, this shop status is closed, but they're still standing in there. Um, well, let's open these shops and see if they actually make a profit. We'll do that. I probably should have gotten at least one ride in here before I started building this roller coaster. Um... <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's take a one more look at the finances. Um So we lost 1600 last month. And can we take out a loan? Oh, we already have a loan. Okay. That's interesting. So we're kind of stuck at this point. Um, huh. We have a year left on this loan. Um, okay, so I am going to speed up the time and keep an eye on the finances here. Okay, so we lost 1100 it looks like. And how did our shops do? Only one made a profit again. The guest happiness is declining. Let's look at the guest thoughts. Okay, that litter is disgusting. I wish there were more rides. Um, the milkshakes is too busy. Why aren't there enough trash cans? Um, okay, someone was pickpocketed also. We don't have a security guard. Okay, and there's a notification here. There's a lot of litter in the park. So we don't even have enough money for trash cans. Okay, I'm a little bit stuck on this scenario. I I think I started this the wrong way. Um, I don't see how we're going to make a profit like this. Although, well, I guess it's only the ninth of this year. Want to try again? Yeah, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're just losing money here. So, okay, that was fun building that roller coaster, I guess. But 
we're going to exit to the main menu. Okay, yeah, so let's start a new scenario. Okay. So this time I'm going to start charging entry right from the beginning. And I'm also going to open the two shops down here. And see, we'll see how those do. And then I think we could get a ride right in this area. So we could go for the kickflip. Um, this might be a good one. If we just raise it up a little bit. Oh. I think uh, some of these trees and rocks are in the way. There we go. Right there. Okay, and maybe we could actually move that back down. Okay. Let's get an entrance and the exit. Um... I guess we'll put the exit over here. Okay, and let's just delete that section of fence. Okay, and I think I'm going to go with the brick queue for this one. Okay, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. And we'll get rid of that. Okay, let's open this ride. And I think we can charge $6 for this one. Okay, maybe we could get another small ride right in here. Maybe the carousel. The teacups. Okay, that one's really big. Yeah, I think I'll put the carousel in here, too. Okay. And then I want the entrance over on this side. And the exit can go right there. Um, I'm just trying to fit this queue in here. Maybe if we just bring it like that. I think for the carousel, the queue doesn't have to be super long. Because not that many people can ride it at one time. Um, hold on. I think we better just connect it here. No VIP entrance. Um, I guess we could do that. We would need, we would need the information booth as well, right? Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to put it right there. Okay. And then we can get rid of that bush. Okay, let's open this one. Um Yeah, let's see. Uh let's see about that. So do we have the information? No, we we don't have the information booth unlocked. So maybe we can research that. Um I'm not seeing that option either. Okay. Yeah, so I don't think we can sell the the priority pass tickets without the information booth. Okay, well, we have $4,000 left now, so hopefully those two rides will be enough that we can start making a profit, and uh, we could build this roller coaster as well. Okay, so let's uh, let's go to the track editor. And I'm gonna try to build this the same way because I liked how it was. Um, okay. Yeah, so let's bring this down here. And curve it. Okay, and um, should we bring it down again? Well, I'm going to get rid of the banking because I am going to curve this the other way. Okay, yeah, here. Okay, now it's running into the trees. I'm going to get rid of that tree and that one. I think maybe I didn't have such a tight curve here before. So maybe we can actually keep those trees if we just... Okay, it's this one. Yeah, if we just curve this out... Okay. Okay, and then I think this piece was curved a little bit this way. Um, yeah, okay. So let's see about the loop. I don't remember which one I chose. Um, I think it was this one. Okay, I think we're going to have to bring the track a little bit higher. 
And then maybe we could put the loop in. Um, I don't know what's different about it this time. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try it this way. Um, Okay, I want to make this piece longer. And uh, maybe turn it a little bit more. Okay, and if we're turning it, we should bank it. And then let's see about the loop. Okay. Um, I think that's a little too tall, so I'm actually going to bring that piece down. Okay. And now it's red again. Oh, there we go. Maybe we can make it a little bigger. Okay, and then I turned it around this way and I put a roll in. Multiple thefts have occurred, but there are no security guards to report to. Okay. Um, let's actually bring this piece down, and then we'll straighten it out. Um, yeah. Okay, and then uh, the rolls, um, I chose the inline twist or the inline roll. Oh no, it was this one, the heartline roll. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to turn angle snap off and just see where I want this exactly. I guess it it's because it's going through that tree, huh? We could put it on this side. I guess I don't mind that. Okay. Okay, let's um start a test here for fear. A 
Okay, I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. And we want to see if this loop here is too big or if it can get over it. Oh, okay. It didn't quite make it. Okay, let's stop the test. Okay, so um, we're actually out of money right now. So let's look at the finances. Um, okay, so we did make a profit last month. Um, let's check on our shops. Okay, it looks like only one shop actually made a profit. That's the milkshake stand. Maybe we can make this loop smaller. Um, yeah, that actually gave us money back. Okay. And I'm not sure if I like how this is curved right here. Um, I don't know how much I can change that. Okay, I can kind of just wiggle those pieces around. Okay, I'm just going to leave it then. Let's try another test here. Oh, okay. I want I want to visualize the fear. Okay, so the oh, it still didn't make it over that loop. Okay, I guess we'll make it even smaller then. That's as small as it goes. Huh. Um Maybe if we lower this piece? No, that's not going to... Okay. The loop must have been lower before. For in order for it to get over there. Okay, we're just going to have to... Redo part of this. Okay, um, yeah, let's make that piece longer and bring it up a little bit. Okay, that's as long as I can make it. Okay, well, um, put the banking back at zero degrees. And then we'll start turning it around here. Oh, I guess that was a little too long. I want to turn, I think I want to turn this piece. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe we make this piece shorter. And then we turn it so it goes under there. Okay, let's try this. Um, yeah, maybe we actually go back a piece.
Okay. Wow, building this, the first time I built this roller coaster, it was just like, it just went together. It was so easy. Now I can't figure out how to even connect this. Okay, so last month we made $47. Maybe if we make this piece really short. And then we could put the loop in. I think this will work. Yeah. Okay, I do want it I do want it kind of facing that way. And I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. Okay, let's build that piece. And then I guess we'll delete a couple pieces here and see if we can connect this. Um yeah, okay, the autocomplete worked nicely there. Okay, let's start the test again. Okay, the fear went up to 6.3, but it did get over the loop. Oh, on this roll, the fear is actually 7.5. Okay. So that's kind of in the red, but um, maybe it will be okay. Okay, and then I, I'm going to build this coaster from the other side here. And we want the block section. Okay, that is too expensive for us. Um, okay. So we can't build any more of the roller coaster right now. Multiple staff members have a high workload. And multiple thefts have occurred. Let's see how these rides are doing. So, um, last month's profit was $218 there, and we could definitely raise the ticket price of this one. I think we'll put it at five, and they're actually saying I'm not paying that much for the Rocktopus. I spent loads on park entry. Yeah, let's look at the guest thoughts overall. I wish there was more rides. That litter's disgusting. Okay, we forgot to put down trash cans again. Um, there's still a lot of people in the queue here, so I'm not too concerned about the price of this. But the carousel... Well, they're saying the carousel is cheap, actually. Okay. And, okay. Um, oh, yeah, trash cans. So, scenery, path extras. Let's put some trash cans down. Um, I think we'll get some right here. We'll put two over there. Okay, there actually is one trash can there, so. Yep, 
let's get a couple down there. And we'll put one by the entrance over here. And we'll put some more here. And I think two more there. That should be enough trash cans. Okay, and then uh, for this carousel here, last month's profit was 148. So that's good. And let's just look at our finances again. So the shops are earning, the shops earned $800 last month. And we, we made $1,000 on rides and tickets. Okay. Um yeah, I'm I'm thinking about wrapping it up here soon. Um I think we just need to let this scenario play out a little bit until we uh save up some more money. That way we could finish this roller coaster here. Um yeah, and maybe if we pay off that loan, we could take out a second loan. and get some more rides in here. Oh, thank you for the follow Chainsaw 30. I really appreciate that. Yeah, so that's kind of my plan here. I think I am gonna hire a security guard. That should help with guest happiness, I guess. Um, okay. I'm not paying that much for Roctopus. So maybe we should, um, I don't know if we should lower the entrance price. I just don't know, because there's lots of people in this line. And I wonder in this game if people will actually walk up here and turn away because it's too expensive. I haven't really seen that happen. Um, anyways, I think that's, I think that's going to be it for me today. Uh, thank you so much for watching those of you who did, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.